Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very exciting one. I've been requested to do this. I've been wanting to do this as well. And also, if anything new comes out from Lily Lolo, I'm bound to test it out anyway, because I do love the brand. So, I did pick up, they've now released some new lipsticks, which are vegan, as well as being um, clean beauty. And they're all nude, so six new nude vegan lipsticks. So I did get all six, because I wanted to try them out and see what the colours were like, see how different they are from the original lipsticks. I think they're meant to be like a, a shade for each skin tone, kind of that would suit skin um, different skin tones so I'm excited I'll give you a little bit of uh, I've got the oh I've got it all up on my phone so I can speak a little bit about it so these are called the nothing to hide lipsticks the vegan nude collection includes six nude hues designed to flush all skin tones in a brand new formulation that offers fabulous color payoff staying power and hydration without the use of any animal products or testing so they are formulated with nourishing grapeseed, argan and sunflower, oil, sunflower seed oils. Smooth, even, creamy uh, application, 100% vegan, fragrance free. So these retail for £10. And if I just go and look on how much the originals were. Okay, so the original ones were 9 50 so these are only 50p more. So I have a feeling that the new ones are going to be slightly more of a thicker consistency, so slightly more creamier. So maybe a little bit less glossy, not matte, but maybe more like a satiny finish, potentially. Um, and therefore potentially slightly more colour payoff, I don't know. So I'm going to have a little see, so I'm going to open these up. I bought... Um, one of my favourites from the original collection, the Nude Allure, just to compare how they look and stuff. Oh cool, so in here I've got a little leaflet, so it's going to tell me, um, it tells you a little bit about each colour as well, so I can give me a description. So this is the uh, first lipstick, so it's very similar packaging so far in terms of what the um, original comes in. This is the new one, this is the old one. So that's what it looks like. It actually looks very similar in terms of actually the formula to the other ones a little bit um, so I'm intrigued to see. So this is the first shade, this is Au Naturel which is described as an easy to wear barely there golden beige um, so I think this is probably similar to the Nude Allure I'm going to have a little swatch okay so it definitely has a slightly thicker consistency um, nothing crazy and there is still, oh, you can see like a shine there I'm just going to swatch Nude Allure next to it. You can see mine's a bit better because I use this all the time. And that is Nude Allure. Now Nude Allure definitely, definitely has more of a gloss than Au Naturel for sure. So I'm intrigued to see kind of how it, what it's like on the lips. So, first shade, Au Naturel. Okay, it's a very beautiful shade. Um, it applies really easily, really creamy, like it suggests. Um, I would say actually the formula doesn't seem that different. Maybe it might not be a different formula, it might just be the fact that um, it's a vegan version. But it, it has a really nice, like it says, golden hue to it, which looks really nice. I think it's perfect for the summer as well. But definitely still has that shine, although it does look less glossy than the original but it's really comfortable on the lips as well it looks really nice it's a really pretty color definitely a nude that I would wear a lot really really nice I think perfect for summer as well because it has got that slight golden hue to it but yeah I really love that color it's really nice okay so the next one I have is without a stitch and this is described as a super flattering color of real lips but better Ooh, it looks actually quite a dark nude. So I'm actually just going to go to order of what they put on here. So it looks a lot darker. Oh, actually, it actually doesn't translate quite as dark. And I see what they mean about kind of the natural lip colour better. So this is um, without stitch. I 
Oh, and something I say, with, definitely with these first two colours, I don't think you need a lip liner necessarily with them. Unless you want a really sharp lip liner, I think they're the kind of colours that work um, really nicely just by themselves. So this is the, with that stitch, so this is the one that is meant to be your lips, but slightly better. Again, same formula, feels really nice, really comfortable on the lips. It's a beautiful colour, I think actually a lot of people have really enjoyed this, of all skin tones. Um, and really, really pretty, and like I said, you don't need a lip liner with these at all. They do transfer. So I know it said it was kind of has a staying power, and I'd say the other ones last a reasonable amount of time, but if you eat and drink, they do start to come off and they do completely fade off your lips, but they fade in a nice way. I'm intrigued to see how these last, so I have to um, play around with these further after this video and I'll give you an update on how long they last and stuff. But Okay, so next up we have the shade Birthday Suit, which is the perfect peachy tone nude, which I feel like could be my kind of nude because I do prefer the slightly more peachy tones. So I'm very excited for <gasps> Oh God. <laughs> and I just dropped it on the floor. It's still intact, so that's fine. So this is the shade Birthday Suit. Let me just have a little swatch. So that's the Birthday Shade. It does have a more peachy tone, although it does look a little bit similar to that. I just feel like this might be a bit darker and slightly more peachier. But I feel, actually, this one reminds me a lot more of Nude Allure. So that's Noodle and that's the birthday suit. This one may be a little bit more pinker than this one, but very similar tone. So I do feel like I'm going to really like this one. So this is birthday suit. Yeah, this is definitely my kind of nude. Okay, so yeah, 100% this is my kind of nude, the really nice peachy toned nude. I just think it's really complimentary for me, and I just, they're kind of just my tones I prefer. So this is Birthday Suit, again, another really beautiful one, um, like a beautiful shade, and like I said, I just prefer peachy toned nude, so this is kind of right up my street. Um, and yeah, I really, really like it. Okay, so next up we have the shade Undress, which is described as a cooler mauve based nude. So that's really interesting. I don't think the other collection had more of a mauve um, toned lipstick, so that's quite cool. So that's what this one looks like. Very pretty. It's starting to get a bit darker now. Um, Okay, so that's undressed, definitely starting to get more deeper with these nudes, so but again, really beautiful. I don't really see the moveness of it um, necessarily, but a very beautiful shade. I would say this one felt slightly thicker, so still creamy, easy to apply, but I think because there's more colour payoff and there's deeper shade, it just it felt thicker on the lips and slightly less glossy than the previous ones. I don't know if it's because of the shade, um, but it just felt slightly different. Nothing. I don't mean that in a negative way, it just felt different to apply to the other ones. Um, just a slightly thicker formula, I think. Um, but again, a really nice nude colour. This is a slightly more darker nude for me and my skin tone, but really, really pretty. Um, but like I said, I don't really see the mauveness to this one. Um, so only two more to go. So this one is the In The All Together shade and it's described as the just right side of dusky pink. Ooh, that is actually a really pretty colour. Really lovely. Right, let's see how this one is on the lip. Ooh. This is a very... I'd say this is actually a very different formula. Still creamy but a lot less glossy. It almost has like an iridescent like sheen to it. Or like a metallic hue. So I don't know if it's picking on camera. This one I would describe as a satin as opposed to like a glossy lip. And it has like a metallic pink hue to it. 
which is just very unusual and I don't think Lily Lo have got a shade like this at all. They definitely don't. See now this is how I thought the formula for all of them were going to be, just by the description. But obviously they've still been glossy, whereas this one, like I said, yeah. And you can see it there, it's not as shiny as the rest of them. But like I said, there is a pink metallic hue to it. I don't know if you can, I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera. I really like this colour actually, I think this is really cool and very unique for Lily Lolo. Um, and it's not an offensive metallic because like I said, I don't think it's really picking up on camera. So it's quite a subtle um, metallic cube, but I think it's really nice and like I said, it's quite unique for... Um, for your Lily Lolo. Okay, so on to the very last one and the darkest out of all the six. So this is the shade Stripped. It's a rich, deep brown, fantastic for darker skin. So, and again, I feel this is another shade that Lily Lolo don't have, really. They've got kind of ready plum ones. Oh, that is quite dark. It looks like a very nice colour. Because they've got like dark shades in the originals. They've got quite a plummy red, a red, and a slightly browny red but I don't think it's quite this tone at all um, so yeah let's see how this applies okay this is a beautiful shade this one is the same formula as the previous ones I don't know why they're in all together in the all together just seem to have a different formula for some reason. So this is kind of, yeah, this is the same as the old formula. This is a beautiful colour. So nice. Like I said, for me, this is more of like a bolder lip as opposed to a nude, but for someone with darker skin, this would be beautiful nude. It feels really nice. I think as well for me, when it comes to slightly darker colours, I possibly would like a bit of a lip liner with it just because it's more obvious on my skin tone when I've kind of because it's more obvious for me when I've haven't necessarily done the neatest of jobs. Um, but again, I do think necessarily with these slightly more glossier lipsticks, it isn't always necessary to have a lip liner. I just think for this darker shade, for me, I would possibly want a lip liner. But I absolutely love this colour. And like I said, I don't think it's similar to ones from the original collection. Like I said, they've got a few darker shades, but they're more redder, one more plum based. Um, so I think this is really, really beautiful. So that is all six shades swatched. I think they're really beautiful colours. Like I said, very similar formula to the uh, natural lipsticks, apart from one, which is quite different. Um, but a really nice selection of nudes, I think. And there's definitely a shade I think someone... There's a shade for all there, for sure. Um, and like I said, they're really creamy, really easy to apply feel really comfortable on the lips, don't necessarily need a lip liner, although like I said when it gets more of the dark shades I sometimes do prefer a lip liner, it just kind of neatens things up, it's definitely for the first selection, not necessary, um, and yeah really lovely shades. I probably definitely have my favourites and probably there is two that I think are beautiful shades but I don't need them, well. I don't really need any nudes because I've got quite a few new lipsticks, but the ones that maybe I could go without. Um, so, let me grab all of them. I'll start with them all. I'll start with the, I'll go in the order. So, Oh Natural, 100% one I'd want. It's probably the lightest nude that Lily Lo's done, and I think it's a really beautiful colour. I love the golden hue to it. I like this colour, and I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of that shade. Then we've got Without a Stitch, which is kind of your lips, but a better colour. Um, beautiful shade, and I think a lot of people like this. This is probably one of the ones I could go without, because there are such other shades I prefer out of the collection. Not that it's a horrible shade, I just think um, there are the, yeah, like other nudes out of the collection I'd rather gravitate towards and use more. The Birthday Sue is definitely one that I love. It's a peachy nude, which is my kind of favourite nudes. So of course I was going to love this one. And yeah, a really easy, beautiful shade to wear. And definitely one I'm going to get a lot of use out of. Next one is probably another one that I could live without. It's the shade Undressed. It's the one that was meant to be that cooler mauve tone, which I didn't necessarily think was that mauve. Again, it's a beautiful shade, but it's probably not a nude that I would typically wear a lot. Um, in comparison to the other ones that I really like, so um, 
yeah, that's probably another one that I wouldn't necessarily gravitate towards a lot. In the altogether, I was actually surprised about, like I said, this is the one that has a slightly different formula. It's that pink dusky pink, but has a slight metallic hue to it. More of a satin finish as opposed to a gloss in comparison to the other, others. But I really liked it, and I really liked the slight metallic hue to it. I think it was very unique for Lily Lolo. Um, and I just really hope the camera gave it justice and showed just how beautiful it was. Because, um, yeah, it was just very unusual, and especially for Lily Lolo. It's quite a unique shade. And yeah, I really, really liked it actually. And finally, is this one stripped. And even though this is a darker nude for me, it's more of a bold lip. I really like this shade. I think again, it's another one that Lulo don't really have. It's a really beautiful shade. I think actually, it's very. I don't often wear really dark lips, but I think this is a really nice nude. And I might start wearing darker lips like this on a more regular basis because I think, especially if you're not going too heavy on the eyes like this. So I'm just wearing mascara today on my eyes. Um, I think it can be really pretty, and yeah, especially for darker skin tones, it's going to look beautiful, obviously. It's going to really complement. I think actually all the shades would suit all skin types. I think that's the whole idea of it. Even like the nude, um, so even, what was the first shade? So even Au Natural, I think would be beautiful on darker skin tone. Just maybe add a lip liner to it. But I think, yeah, if they definitely nailed the whole, um, I think they've definitely got it right with all lipsticks to suit all skin tones. I think they've done a really nice selection. So yeah, I love this colour and I'm definitely going to wear this a lot more often. Some of my thoughts and opinions on these lipsticks. Like I said, there were two. They're all beautiful shades. There's two I wouldn't necessarily go for. Um, but the other four, absolutely love. So I'm very impressed with the um, selection of colours. I do think they've tried to not do too similar colours to the natural lipstick range. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave, let me know down below which ones you think are your favourite and which ones you would want to, if you had to pick one, which one would you think you'd pick? If I had to pick just one, do you know what, I think, as much as I love a peachy tone lip, I think I'd go oh, natural because um, I love the golden hue to it, yeah, so that's probably the one I would definitely pick out of all of them, um, but yeah, I love pretty much all of them anyway, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, leave requests down below for future videos, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.